This video will explain how to start from scratch to dockerize the Django 2 app using Docker Compose. So let's not waste time and go to the following steps. First, let's make an empty directory named Dockerize Django app and add another folder inside name it web. Web should contain the Django project. Second, let's put requirements.txt file inside the web folder and write this line in it to install Django version 2.0 inside the Docker container. Now let's create a new file called Docker file inside the web folder. This should contain the following lines. All lines are commented. We extend from the official Docker image for Python 3.4. From Python colon 3.4. After, we ensure that Python outputs everything that's printed inside the application rather than buffering it. env. Python.unbuffered. 1. Next step is the creation of the slash code directory. And set it as the worker with the following commands. Run. Make dir slash code. Workter. Slash code. Next. Add requirements.txt file to container. And install requirements with thesis command. Add. Requirements.txt. Slash code. Run. Pip install. Hyphen r. Slash code slash requirements.txt. Finally, add the current directory, the web folder, to Docker container. Add dot slash code folder. That's all. We have finished editing the Docker file. So the next step is to create a file called Docker Compose .il in the root of our project. The Docker Compose .il is used to describe the services that make our app. Here we only need a web service Django. It also describes which Docker images these services will use, how they will link together, any volumes they might need mounted inside the containers. The Docker Compose.mod file describes which ports these services expose. The first line specify that we use the version 3 of Docker Compose. After we declared our service, in our case we have only one service called web. We specify the build directory. Dot slash web folder. This web service will use the 8000 port inside the Docker container and expose it for the host machine. It will mount the web folder inside the Docker container in the slash code directory. Finally, the command Django-admin start project my site thought is used to generate a Django project named my site in the current directory. After set up the Docker file and the Docker Compose file, we are ready to create our first Django image with Docker. So let's build and run the project to create an empty Django project directory structure. Go to the root of the project and type docker-compose build. This command is used to build an image from the Docker file. As you can see it will execute all the commands that we specified in the Docker file. For example the pip install to get the Django version 2 which takes a little longer than other commands. After building our image, we can run the project to generate an empty Django project directory structure with the command. docker-compose up. That will execute the command. Django-admin start project my site thought. As you can see, now we have a new directory named my site. But it's protected for writing because docker run with root privilege. So let's set writable the generated files. At the root of project directory, dockerize Django app, type. sudo ch own hyphen user, 
Dolly User Web, My Site. Sudo ch own hyphen r dolly user, dolly user web slash manage dot p. After generating empty Django application, finally we can run it. Just change the docker hyphen compose command for the web service to run Django server with the command. Python manage dot p run server 0, 0, 0, 0, 8000. And open your favorite browser at localhost. 8000. You should see this page.